Kuzu Zangpu and warm greetings to all the class 12 science students. In this video, I am going to present on the topic Solution of Differential Equation Using Variable Separable Method. Overview of this video presentation are First, define the particular solution of differential equation. Second, explain Variable Separable Method to find the particular solution of differential equation. What is particular solution of differential equation? It is the solution obtained by giving particular value to the arbitrary constant C in the general solution. To elaborate this, we will go through some of the examples. Example 1. Solve dy over dx equal to 3x square minus x plus 1 given that y equal to 0 when x is equal to 1. First method is to separate the variable x and y. That's why this dx will go to this side. And we get this. After separating the variable, integrate both the side. Integration of dy is y. Integration of 3x square is 3x cube over 3. Integration of negative x is negative x square over 2. Integration of 1 is x plus c. And thus, equation 1 is known as the general solution of the differential equation. To get the particular solution, put y equal to 0 and x equal to 1 in this equation 1. Then this y will become as 0. 3x cube will be 3, 1 cube over 3 minus, this will become as 1 square over 2 plus, instead of this x, we will put 1 plus c. On simplification, we will get this. Therefore, the value of c equal to negative 3 over 2. Put this value of c in equation 1. We will get y equal to 3x cube over 3 minus x square over 2 plus x plus. So instead of this c, we will put negative 3 over 2. And this becomes the particular solution of differential equation. So let us revisit the definition of particular solution of differential equation. Here also it says that if we have particular value to the arbitrary constant, then we call it as a particular solution. So instead of c, we have negative 3 over 2. So this is known as a particular solution. Whereas in general solution, we have the arbitrary constant there. So it is known as a general solution. Let me explain one more example. Example 2. Given that log of dy over dx equal to 2x minus y, y of 0 is equal to 0. Find the particular solution. This means y is 0 and x is 0. x is 0, y is equal to 0. To remove this log, we put e on both the side and we get e raised to log of dy over dx equal to e raised to 2x minus y. Here we will use the logarithm log that is e raised to log of x is equal to x. So using this log, this becomes e raised to log of dy over dx will get converted to dy over dx. Here we can use the quotient law. That is a raised to m minus n equal to a raised to m over a raised to n. So instead of this, we will use question law and it gets converted to a raised to 2x over a raised to y. Now, separate the variable. Take this ey on this side. Take this dx on this side. After separating the variable, integrate both the sides. Integration of ey with respect to y is ey. Integration of e raised to 2x with respect to x is e raised to 2x over 2 plus c. And this solution is known as a general solution. Put x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 in this equation 1. So it will become e raised to 0 equal to e raised to 2 times 0 over 2 plus c. 
we know anything raised to 0 becomes 1, so thereby 1 equal to half plus c. And for the simplification, we get value of c equal to half. Then, put this value of c in this equation 1. It becomes e raised to y equal to e raised to 2x over 2 plus, instead of this c, we'll put half. And this becomes the particular solution for this question. Thank you for watching this video on how to find the particular solution of the differential equation using variable separable method.